Good morning, guys. Today is April the 9th, Monday, and I believe I got phase one of garden plot one done. You see that uh, I got a big trench on either side of these hills, and I do that with uh, my little mound builder right there. That's a bed builder. It scoops my beds up and makes mounds with them. Well, I use that to uh, make those trenches on either side of my bed and then throw it to the middle. And I'll come back through with my tiller now that just so happens to slide right in between those um, trenches so that it can get in there pretty deep. Uh, 12 rows on this first plot. And uh, I'll start tilling them up, well, almost instantaneously. I wanted to uh, catch a look at them before the tillage started. Man, they're going to be pretty. Yep, very excited about this. All right, I'll be back in just a moment after I get some tilling done. Alright, so the first round of tilling is done. And that bahia grass, man, it's going to be, coastal bahia's got a really good root system. That's kind of why they use it. It's area for grazing and hay. Uh, but it's going to be tough to deal with. But I've got it tilled up now. I'm going to let it sit for a while and let the sun bake it and then I'll till it some more and then I'll reheal it. Um, there are some people going to be watching and say, hey, you're supposed to be organic and what about no-till and killing your microorganisms and your beneficial nematodes. Well, as you see here, I got two foot or more between each one of these beds that is completely undisturbed. Going to be plenty of nematodes in there, microorganisms, my uh, microflora and fauna. Uh, that's going to be able to go um, out and back into this tilled section. There's going to be so much food source there for it, and that biomass, that they're going to do just fine. I don't even think it's going to be uh, a difficult thing. I, and I honestly, I don't strongly prescribe to the to the no-till system anyway. I don't. Uh, I don't know, I've been doing this for quite some time, and I've tilled and I've not tilled, and the only difference really uh, that I've seen is the, the amount of weed prevention and uh, weeding that you have to do. Well, there you go, guys. Tilled ready to go next time you see it, it'll probably be starting to be healed up for the second time, and then after that we'll be planting it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That is some beautiful soil. Look at all that biomass in there. It's going to be good stuff.